As you set out to start writing on a consistent daily basis, there is one thing that's fairly vague that can happen and which you need to deal with. We've talked briefly about the muse, we've talked about procrastination, and we've talked about not being honest with yourself and getting a slot in your diary that you stick to. What can happen, and it will only happen a few times as you begin the process and until you develop your confidence and your belief about what you can achieve every day. One thing that can hold you back and can derail you somewhat is not knowing what to write about. My suggestion is that you think, okay, what did I do in my diary yesterday? Look at your diary and write about it. You could have gone to the shops, you could have bought fuel for your vehicle, you could have watched something on television. Grab a piece of paper, grab your pen, switch on your laptop and write 500 words about the things that happened in your diary yesterday. By the time you've done that, over two days in a row, you will not want to write about it again, or the writing about it will reveal ideas, you'll explore characters that you met, you'll think about the significance of things that happened, and you might find the beginnings of or the kernels of the story from that activity. Procrastination is the word we give to not doing the things that we want to do so that we feel better about having not prioritised them. If you want to write consistently, turn up for the appointments where you will write at a time that you have set aside in your diary. Something else you can't control are family events in the calendar. So there will be birthdays and christenings and other good events that you need to turn up to. Sometimes there'll be sad occasions where it's important that you attend. But you can just move your writing time. You could write more the day before. You could double up on your writing time the day after. So don't let things like that get in the way of you achieving and working to your daily consistency with writing. We've already said that writing is important to you, that there's an emotional value to you of committing words to paper or working on your laptop and creating new material, new content, new poetry, new storytelling, all of which is important. Prioritise it because it's important. Just for today, think about what you want to write before you start that appointment with yourself. Then you will come to the table, you'll come to the desk, ready to create. Something else which can hold you back is distraction. And most distraction these days is digital. You have a cell phone, it beeps when you get notifications. It rings because somebody wants to talk to you. When you're writing, either don't have the phone in the room with you or switch it to flight mode, leave it on a chair somewhere else in the room, put it on the other side of the dining table if that's where you're going to be writing and give yourself the privilege and the pleasure of an uninterrupted hour without any digital distraction. You may be writing on a laptop where it's easy to be a little bit bored for two minutes and think, oh, I'll just check social media. No, you don't need to do any of that at all. Switch the Wi-Fi facility off on your laptop and focus on what's important. That's the hour that you're going to give yourself as part of a scheduled daily commitment to writing. Oh, okay.